Dear friends, this time our conversation about the next composer will be very brief due to the lack of the information about him on the natural scale for a full study, so I will use the timing and ask you for a help in distributing all the material from my channel. It is very important to expand this so little popular topic today. So, thank you for your understanding and thanks in advance for your help. Now, let's turn to the topic itself. The speech and the very short one will be about the Spanish composer José de Nebra. Nevertheless, the composer himself deserved to be mentioned for his work, because he represents a very small list of composers of the Spanish school compared to the Italian. Unfortunately, the Nebra is almost unknown, and we know nothing about his life, except information from archival records, from church sources about the date and place of his birth and his relatives, and also as a musician and composer. So what do we know about this composer? José Melhor Bartazar Gaspar Debra Blasco was born in 1702 in Cataluida and was baptized on January 6th according to the local parish archives. There we also learn that his father was José Antonio Nebra Mesquita, organist and court teacher in Cathedral of Cuenca. José had two younger brothers who also devoted themselves to the music. Francisco Javier was born in 1705 and was organist at La Seo in Zaragoza. Joaquín Ignacio, who was born in 1709, also served as organist at La Seo until his death. Let's go back to the main topic, namely that we know about the older brother Jose. In 1719, at the age of 17, he became an organist at the Descalzas Reales Monastery in Madrid. He soon began composing stage music and he saw his theatrical works in Madrid. In 1724, the Nebra was appointed second organist of the Royal Chapelle, but after the death of Louis I and return to the throne, Philip V, he became superintendent, which meant recognition of his high skill and professional merit. And in 1751, he became vice master of Royal Chapel. From 1761, he was the teacher of harpsichord with infant Don Gabriel. After the fire in Alcazar in Madrid in 1734, which completely disappeared the collection of sacred music of the Royal Chapel, he, together with José de Torres and Antonio de Literes, will contribute to the task rebuilding the musical library to the ministry. José de Nebra will be in charge of the Royal Chapel music archives, whose legacy will be expanded not only by the works of Torres, Nebra or Literas, but also by the works of Francesco Corselli, master of the Royal Chapel at that time, will be acquired Philip Falconi, Alessandro Scarlatti, Leo Saro, Parentino, etc. More than 170 works have survived from the Nebra, including Messes, Psalms, Latini, and Stabat Mater at the Royal Archives. He composed several dozen of sarsuelas, of which only a small part had survived. More than a dozen Christmas carols and about 30 clavier works. Although research in various archives continues to uncover scores by José de Nebra until today, let's listen to some fragments from his works.
highlights of his works. It is worth mentioning the Requiem for the death of Queen Barbara de Braganza and his stage work. Madrid, he lived on the Calle de la Bolsa. A plaque commemorates the place where he lived. 